Hey parents, it's Mr. Jim here. This back to school season, give your kids the tools they need to have fun while they learn with Osmo. Osmo's reading adventure, Learn to Read Game is an interactive tool for kids five to seven that help them practice and develop reading fundamentals. Because it's never too early to fall in love with reading. Visit playosmo.com to check out the reading adventure new reader kit today. That's playosmo.com. Osmo, learning well played. Hey parents, we all know that feeling of heading back to school, right? That exciting time for new pencils and fresh starts. But what about fresh lunch ideas? Boar's Head has been going back to school for over 115 years. So they know all about packing the perfect lunchbox with uncompromising quality and all-time family favorites like ever-roast, oven-roasted chicken breast, maple-glazed, honey-coat ham, and American cheese. Boar's Head makes packing lunch easy and delicious. Look for Boar's Head at your local deli counter and learn more at boarshead.com slash back to school. Boar's Head, compromise elsewhere. Hey friends, I have something really exciting that I need your help with. What do you think of a Mr. Jim book? Like a real life Mr. Jim book. Yeah, turning our stories into books has been a dream of mine for a long time. And I think it's about time that we make it happen. But I really need your help. You see, we need as many people as possible to say like, Yes, I will support Mr. Jim having a book. And so your parents, I need you to tell your parents right now to go to MrJimBooks.com and just to sign up saying that you support the idea of Mr. Jim having a book. That would be so amazing because if we get enough people to do this, then this book will actually become a real thing. But it only happens with your help. Go tell your parents that you have to go to mrjimbooks.com or click the link down in the show notes below so that you can make this book actually happen. That would be so awesome, and I cannot wait to share this book with you. And who's ready for a story? Well, I definitely am. Let's go! It was a beautiful day as Goldie was flying through the sky on her way up to the clouds. Yes, Goldie has a pretty awesome job. You see, uh, every couple days, she has to fly up to the clouds and she's bringing gelato with her. For the unicorns, of course. Unicorns? (laughs) Yeah, Goldie has a really special relationship and job with these unicorns there's 99 unicorns that they have these rainbow tails and i'm sure you've heard before that they're the ones that paint the rainbows in the sky and one of their favorite snacks well they eat sandwiches for lunch and then one of their favorite desserts after the sandwich is gelato if you've never had gelato it's kind of like ice cream but the unicorns they definitely love gelato Goldie was flying through the sky. She was carrying with her a whole bunch of really heavy gelato and finally made it up to the clouds. Hey, friends, shouted Goldie. All the unicorns would always get very excited when they saw Goldie because that meant that it was gelato time. (laughs) It's kind of like seeing, have you ever seen like an ice cream truck drive through a neighborhood before? Oh, yeah, that's a pretty exciting sound when you hear the ice cream sound. Well, I think Goldie is kind of like the ice cream truck that comes up to the unicorns. Like I told you, she's got a pretty awesome job. I wish I had that job. Hey, everybody, how are you doing? How is the day going? Wait, why does it look like you're all packing up to go home? As she was handing out all the gelato to the 99 unicorns, She could tell that they had all packed up their bags and it looked like they were leaving somewhere. Hey, Gordy. Yes, we got that amazing opportunity. It came in the mail and it looks like someone is going to be giving us a free vacation. We're going to go to the beach or something and I think somebody else is going to be punching the unicorns for a little while. What? What Wait, what are you talking about? Here, read this. 
Goldie reached down and grabbed this piece of paper that one of the unicorns was holding. It said, Attention all unicorns, you have been awarded a free vacation to the Island of Happiness. Uh, starting tomorrow and don't worry about rainbows, they'll still be painted by our team. Wait a second. Goldie thought to herself, who is this from? Like, who did, who sent this? Hey, Sunshine, like, who sent this? Like, did you guys, like, win a contest or something? Well, I don't exactly know. It's just showed up one day. And it seems pretty official. Look. On the back of the letter, it said it came from the official Rainbow Committee. I've never heard of this committee before, said Goldie. Do you mind if I take a closer look at this letter? Yeah, absolutely, but... We really gotta get going. Just calm down my cell phone if you have any questions. But thanks for the gelato, Goldie. We'll see you later in like a week or two. Bye! And just like that, all the unicorns flew off towards that island of happiness. Goldie was so confused. She had never heard of some official rainbow committee before. And why were they giving all these unicorns, like, a free vacation? It sounds nice but it also sounds kind of suspicious. What do you think? Goldie knew exactly what she thought. This is totally sus, and I need to check this for fingerprints. She reached inside of her jetpack, which had a lot of her spy gear in there, and pulled out some invisible ink pens, which at the end of them, they had this light that when you shined it on some things, you know, it, it might show something that you can't see just with your eyes. And as she shown this light, over the letter, there were all kinds of weird, weird things all over it. Kind of purpley fingerprints. And just then it hit Goldie. <gasps> oh no! Wait a second. I think this letter... I gotta check it one more time. Just double check. She reached down into her bag and pulled out this other thing and scanned it over the letter. And it confirmed. Beep, beep, beep. This is a confirmed purple ninja letter as fast as she could she reached for her walkie-talkie and called sunshine the unicorn but unfortunately it went right to voicemail no it went right to voicemail oh no that's bad that's really bad that means they must have turned off their phones while they're flying on their way to the island of happiness what in the world is pur the purple ninja gonna do oh no and just then off in the distance, she saw something absolutely terrible. Wait a second, that can't be real. That can't, there's no way. She pulled some binoculars out of her pack and brought them up to her eyes and looked. She was staring at the world's first gray rainbow. What in the world is going on? Why is that rainbow gray? Said Goldie. That's like the most depressing rainbow I've ever seen. Have you ever seen a gray rainbow? Well, <laughs> I haven't, but that must mean that Dr. Singy Breath and the Purple Ninjas are behind it. If you ever see a gray rainbow, you have to let HQ know. Goldie knew that she had to act fast. She grabbed her jetpack, threw it on, and blasted off. She had to get to the Island of Happiness as soon as possible to tell the unicorns this horrible news that they have been tricked. Meanwhile, up at the Stinky Blimp Lab, Dr. Stinky Breath and the Purple Ninjas are pretty happy with their plan so far. <laughs> well, Purple Ninjas, look at that depressingly sad gray rainbow. Who did that? Who did that beautiful thing? Was it you? Yes, uh, it was me. It was me, Dr. Stinky Breath over here. Oh my, I did, I didn't know that, who, wait, who are you? Um, I, it doesn't, I, I've been here the whole time, but yes, our plan of turning the rainbows gray is working. We sent all the unicorns away to this island of happiness, and guess what? It's something that they will never, ever want to leave. There's a limited gelato, and we're pretty sure that our research shows that the unicorns will be so happy on that island that they'll never want to leave ever again, which gives us full control of all the rainbows. <laughs> oh no, what in the world is Goldie going to do? 
Is she going to be able to get to that island in time to, to stop the unicorns from being completely tricked? And all of our rainbows are lost forever. I don't know what's going to happen, but we're going to have to wait and see what happens on the next episode of Kids Short Stories. Hey parents, it's Mr. Jim here. This back to school season, give your kids the tools they need to have fun while they learn with Osmo. Osmo's reading adventure, learn to read game is an interactive tool aimed at children ages five to seven that help them practice and develop reading fundamentals, turning them into young, confident, skilled readers because it's never too early to fall in love with reading. Watching our youngest play with reading adventure this summer, I can see how much more ready he is for when kindergarten is starting very, very soon. Visit playosmo.com to check out the reading adventure. New reader kit today. That's playosmo.com. Osmo, learning well played. Visit playosmo.com to check out the reading adventure. New reader kit today. Hey friends, I need your help celebrating two birthdays and this first birthday kid's name starts with an A and ends with an N. Drum roll please. Happy birthday, Auden! Yes, Auden's turning six years old, loves to hunt for bugs and lizards. Oh, that's my kind of awesomeness. (laughs) Auden is a great artist and loves to spread joy to everyone she meets. Wow, Auden, you sound amazing, and I'm so glad that you're a part of our family and that we got to celebrate your birthday on the show. How awesome was that? Well, our next birthday kid's name starts with a W and ends with an N. Drum roll, please. Happy birthday, Ren, who's turning seven years old. He loves camping and hiking and video games and playing with his brother Jonah and Lorelei. I'm so glad, Ren, that we got to celebrate your birthday on the show. I hope your seventh birthday is the best one ever. Hey, friends, remember at the beginning of the story I told you about supporting Mr. Jim Books? Yeah, if we have enough people that say that they would love a Mr. Jim book, then we can actually make this happen. So when your parents go to MrJimBooks.com, there's a little button that says Notify Me. And if enough people click that notify me button, then we can actually make this book thing happen. Oh, this would be a dream come true and super fun to do together. And maybe I'll be even able to sign your Mr. Jim book. Well, friends, I hope you have a super duper day and I will see you on our next adventure. Bye. Bye.